And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spider-Man and Venom, Maximum Carnage. I'm your LP here for today, capital G. And it's time for some good old-fashioned Venom. So controls of Venom are the same. He handles a bit more slowly than Spider-Man. But otherwise does all the same things. He can climb walls. Not these walls for some reason, but he can climb walls. He can web sling. He has melee attacks, aerial attacks. And you can see he you can see his attacks are more a lot more forceful. Just in their animations. They also do more damage. But his strikes happen more slowly sometimes and that can that can cost you against some faster enemies. So that's something to watch out for. Can I can let climb up here. The answer is no. Here I think I can climb. Still no. Anyway. Ah, I wanted to pick her up and throw, but it didn't happen. Apes. Boom, take that. Let's get to that heart. Done. I love I love Venom. Again, just because he's more force like his attacks are more forceful, they deal more damage. And we didn't get a good example of his power hit yet. That wasn't it. That's actually a special attack that uses a little bit of health. That's his power attack. A seismic slam of the ground. It just says, fuck you to everybody. Come on. Ah. He's also taller, so sometimes when you're throwing uh, throwing people, you're actually going to throw one person over the other person's head. Venom, I think, has a little more reach on his melee attacks, too. It feels that way anyways. Look at this. Every time he lands, it's it, it, it seismics. Like, it doesn't do an actual attack, but... It just gives you an idea of how much more of a heavyweight Venom is compared to Spider-Man. And it makes perfect sense. Boom! I'll take that. Flanked by enemies that are not even on screen. Ah! And that's the, that was an example of the accidental, like, grapple. That's, like, the only thing that can really cause problems when you're playing the game is the accidental grapple. Sometimes you just want to walk up to someone and attack, and you just grab them by accident. Here you go, boss time. More of these slapjack dudes. Watch that. Boom. Venom has the power to knock these guys off, off their feet with that fork punch. So fighting these guys are not as scary when you're Venom as, as you are as they are when you're Spider-Man. Ouch! That hurt though. That's one down. Bone's still going though. He hasn't taken as much damage yet, I don't think. Alright, that he takes like three times to cut the damage that the other character does. Which is entirely possible because you never see that you never see the full life total. Boom. No problem. But you know who else is in San Francisco right now? And don't ask me how they get to New York from New York to San Francisco so quickly. Hey, come on, people! It's convertible weather! Yeah. Comic book humor. I love it. Okay, so maybe not, 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 not in San Francisco. Maybe we made it to New York, but still. It's time for... Oh, wow, well, look! Yipes! Yeah. We have, a, we have a very long but very narrow stage. This doesn't serve Venom very well. And every time you take a hit, 
Carnage laughs at you. <laughs> and you're gonna take a hit a lot from these guys because there's no room to dodge. No room. So you want to get this battle over with qu as quickly as possible. You don't even win this battle. Spoilers. Ah! Venom's reach is, fa is failing me. There it is. And at this point, well... It's a battle Venom loses, because Venom can't battle battle these people on their on his own. And this tells you just how beat up our heroes are. Peter Parker is still recovering also. So much for sleep. There is no rest for the for our heroes. None whatsoever. In the meantime, enter the Demo Goblin. But my... F yeah, he used to partner with uh, the Doppelganger. He used, to f he used to partner with other people, but... It's just another variant of the Green Goblin and the Hop Goblin. The Demo Goblin. I'm pretty sure it's Demo Goblin because of his more demonic nature. And yeah, heroes unite because they have no choice at this point. Black Cat is here, Venom is here, and Spider Man is here. We're all ready for action. Yeah, so we're back to the uh, hero select screen. Um, I won't play these next stages right away because I still have Spider-Man's story from the last time to do. So, uh, welcome back. Just now we're going to do Spider-Man side of the story from the first character select screen. So let's not waste any time with that. Going on a chase. And enter the Demo Goblin. The web slinging is automatic, but keep your finger over the A button and watch out for this. Boom! Got him! You've got one chance to knock him off here. If you, Whether you succeed or fail, you end up in Times Square. But the difference is that if you succeed, Demo Goblin will start on the ground. Whereas if you fail, you'll start on the ground and you have to knock, you'll have to try to knock Demo Goblin off of his uh, thing. Boom! Ouch! Yeah, Spider-Man starts hurt. Of course, he, he hasn't recovered from the attack in the church. And the best way to fight Demo Goblin? Uh, uh oh, crap! I didn't have any momentum when I jumped in the air, so I ended up landing right back on his pumpkin bomb. But don't try to trade punches with the Demo Goblin because he punches faster than you do. Aerials are the way to go. If I can get one more good hit here, oh. See what I mean? Boom. And that takes care of the Demo Goblin. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh... Spider-Man sequence here is very, very short. It's just those two, st those two mini stages, and we come to the same story point as we were when uh, we finished Venom's first quest. So we've already seen this. We can skip that, and here we are again at the, at the character select screen. But there are a lot of stages to go. It's a long trip. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go with Spider-Man or with Venom. I don't remember if they go to the exact same stages or not. I think so. That's something I'll have to look into. In the meantime, uh... 
congratulations Spider-Man for annihilating the Nemo Goblin, and we'll see you next time.